what's up what's up how y'all doing disclaimer i am drinking moscato this is my second glass of wine since i've had juice. mia and no i will not be breastfeeding tonight that's for all the doctors i might want to say something so why do you even care i don't care but i'm just letting it know just let me know um I know you don't like the bubbles. So, last time y'all saw us, what were we doing? We were talking about 10 days as a new mom. Yes. Now it's been two months as new moms. And we're just going to talk a little bit about our life update, I guess, right? Mm -hmm. And how's it been? So far, so good. In the beginning, it was a little challenging, like the first two weeks. I sound like sleep patterns, feeding. Patterns. Uh, no more routines. Not routines. <laughs> Not routines. Oh, no more routines and all that. So it's like it was a little changes because I'm just a routine person, comfortable in my space. So, you know, incorporating her schedule, with my schedule with her schedule, but my business schedule and her business schedule was a lot. But once we figured out it's like a schedule mm -hmm. for her, we made sure we put her schedule before ours and then made it work. So, yes. Yeah. It was. It's. It's. It's her first. It's like, what? Her first. Her first. Yes, me at first, and then everything else comes second. Yeah. So it's kind of like day and night from the last video y'all saw. We were kind of like in the thick of it. It was brand new to us. We was frustrated. We was. We was sleep deprived, but. Um, as y'all see, she's gotten so much bigger. Again, she's two months. She turned two months the 21st. Hmm. Um, she's sleeping longer through the night. I am breastfeeding and formula feeding. Um, she drinks about four ounces. four ounces every three hours. That's on average. Um, everything is normal and good with her and her health and her development and her growth. Um, again, she sleeps like 11, 12 ish to like five, six ish. Sometimes it's all the way to seven. So we are sleeping more. <laughs> I would kiss you, but I got wine bread. Um, my baby, so cute. I feel like I can't focus. Sometimes when we feel as though she, like when she would get up around three or four and we feel like one of us is sleepier than the other. Um, like she usually gives me a break now. Like she'll see that I'm sleepy. Like if she sees that I am sleepy and I'm not getting enough sleep, she'll go, you know what? I'm gonna give you a break tonight and she'll hold it down overnight. So my one of my major issues with being new moms was that Rita was I felt like a lot of it was on me. That is definitely not the case. Um it is the first week and a half two weeks yeah it was all on you and like i was not so the sleep part the daily part yeah i'll help and do the domestic it was all domestic she's picked she's she's always cooked i'm lying i cooked and then she started to cook and we realized she cooked way better than me she actually enjoys cooking as well so she took over the cooking and then as far as cleaning, I've always cleaned, well, we're both clean people, but I took over the cleaning because she worked full time. But then she picked that up once I started to, once I got. <laughs> once I got pregnant, she started to clean. And then that, you know, that rolled over to having Mia and then I was healing. So now it's like she cooks. Now I got back to cleaning, I'm fully healed. I have done my physical annual and my GYN and all other things. And now I feel like we're kind of like, we have our strengths and our weaknesses, but we're pretty much like balanced equaled out. out. Mm -hmm. yeah. it's, ba it's really balanced now. Which is a beautiful thing. No one really seems as though they're missing out on like, oh, you need to help me with that. I need to help you. Right. Um, she like, know even if at, at midnight we feed her, like shoe, if somebody feeds, somebody burping. And then, so it's like, it kind of works out. Like she yeah. feed, she, I'll mostly go get a bottle. She will feed our burp to sleep. Yep, she seems to be what they call it, the baby whisperer. She seems to be like Mia falls asleep with her faster. Mia seems to get calmer with her faster. <laughs> I don't know. It's like it took her a while to get into the mommy mode, but now that she's in it, it's a beautiful thing to witness. Um, her and Mia is growing such a beautiful bond. Mia loves her mama and her mommy. 
and or her mama or her mommy however she will call us and um yeah it's amazing i feel like we're great I, i'm getting back to work so even if i need to get on a computer she'll hold her down and then we're starting to baby wear which is like you know put her in the carrier and get things done if we feel like we're not being productive like today today we didn't baby wear but she did not really get a nap today right but we still went on live with mrs and mrs this is we're recording a youtube we re we recorded our day routine so we did get a lot done right and we're about to get the rest of the day done it's only five o'clock it's really dark out but it's only 4 56 so we're gonna make it we're making it work with her what else <laughs> um i'm trying to think what else we'll be talking about in the other ones so any updates rita is the plan for Rita is to go back to work. Her 12 weeks is almost up. Yeah. We the don't, plan is not to go back. Yeah, it's not to go back. We're actually trying to work on something now. Right. Um, I was, if you know us, you know me, you know our past, you know that I worked a specific position um, for the past few years before the pandemic. That position is back and I'm trying to get back to that because as y'all know. Okay, what else? Um, so yeah, we would love to switch roles me get back out there she kind of stay home stay back um so hopefully that works out as y'all know we're still trying to move to jersey that looks like that you know we're, we're just you know we're trying to just do things we're trying to get things done and we're trying to update you all on it um we get asked a lot do we want another baby do we want another baby mm -hmm. we do we want um another one so. yeah rita rita is definitely putting the pressure on She's definitely making a lot of comments, you know, like she, you had a dream. Mm -hmm. She had a I dream knew. that I was pregnant and Mia was rubbing the belly. And I was like, she's going to be a big sister. She, yeah, she's like, you want to be a big sister, Mia? You want to be a big sister? She, um, yeah, she wants a second baby. And I want one too. So we're going to work on that mm -hmm. in a year mm -hmm. after we move. Mm -hmm. um, this week we're going away for Thanksgiving. Uh, we're going to my mother-in-law's house. That's Heaven's mom. Yeah, she That's has Mia's a, grandma's. Mia's grandma's. Her great grandmother is going to come mm -hmm. over to her aunts and uncle that's going to be there. So we're going to spend fam. We're going to spend family time Thanksgiving. What I'm really excited about. So we're going to pack our bag, pack our puppy, pack our baby. All right, we out. And we're going to head to Jersey and have a good time for a few days, and then you know, shop a little for Black Friday. Hopefully, mm. trying to get all the good sales in, and yeah, come back and prepare for christmas and the new year i haven't really bought anything because like all the clothes i thrifted during the pandemic are rita, has, right rita now. has bins and bins so of it's like everything i'm wearing is brand new so like i'm not even like pressed to buy anything because like i have a lot of brand new stuff shoes clothes time to buy some new stuff for me yeah yeah, she's fitting in her. So when she was first born, she was only able to fit in newborn. She wasn't able to fit in like nothing zero to three. Now she's in zero to three, and we're just getting her all the winter and fall stuff that we can get. We're realizing that you know her little drawers and stuff, or her closet is kind of filling up, and you know she needs more toys and stuff like that. We're as she get older, we realize she's being more alert. She's you know seeing things and hearing things. So we're just thinking of like little newborn things to get her. And, and anything like big we're just we will just wait for christmas but yeah that's been kind of our update um yeah. our businesses are going great rita's shooting a lot if you are not following shot by re on instagram you need to do that she has been getting booked left or right which is such a blessing that's such an amazing thing because yeah. she's a smaller photographer in new york city she's not as big as like the big ones but she's an amazing photographer and people trust her they reach out to her and she gets booked right yeah um so that's great because she's she has a break from work but she's doing her business and y'all know with me mrs and mrs and we're getting like 100 followers on average a day and you know just trying to find ways to um have that be full-time for me so yeah that's about it 10 minute real quick check in with you guys um um, we asked on our Instagram page, which I want to see. Y'all said morning routines, evening routines, day in the life. So we are recording that. But if you want to see anything else. And our next video is going to be um, this. 
what it's gonna be baby the spicy a spicy challenge a spicy truth or kiss challenge which yeah. i'm excited about because it seems fun on other pages so we're gonna do that yes sir we haven't done a challenge in a long time look at look at not the lean hey, but, but, hey if you want to see anything but, else from us hey. let us know because we will be recording more we always say that but we always try to bring y'all content right mm -hmm. right mia yeah, mama. if you haven't already subscribe to us like comment subscribe tell a friend tell a friend and yeah later